Hey, what is going on, everybody? Spike B Gaming here, bringing you what looks like the same video. I t I'm telling you, it's not. It may be from the same game. Maybe only like three rounds later. Maybe I don't know where I ended the last video. But I was sitting here. And I was like, you know what? The game still hasn't updated. I'm gonna make another video because I was sitting here and I kind of just started writing on my whiteboard, and it clicked. I knew exactly what to talk about. Now we're gonna hope that future Ben has come up with some beautiful, amazing title. Something like Newtown Zombies and Black Ops 4? Like, wow, such clickbait. But, it's not the point. Now, as I struggle to kill this Blight Father while he grapples me, and let me just tell you, it never happens. But, let's talk about Nuketown and kind of the hopes and dreams, what I really want to see, what I really don't want to see. I would love to see, instead of the typical Nuketown that we've seen before in Black Ops 2, don't get me wrong, I loved it. That was right when I was getting into zombies, so it holds a special place in my heart. But, I don't want to see it again. I would love to see more of the uh, Nuketown Island from Blackout. Give us the whole area. Give us this huge play zone. It would be amazing. It'd be a ton of fun. Plus, then it would give us so much more place to explore, give a whole lot more depth for us to go into on training and stuff, because I i mean, I love maps with lots of training spots. I also love the hammer here, because you just freaking launch everyone way away, but that's, we're getting out there. Looking at my whiteboard here, I mean, possible storyline stuff. Maybe that this is where Victus goes when they're in Purgatory. That when they're in the pods. Which, I mean, that's kind of just a throwaway one. Like, if you're trying to find any possible way. If they're trying to avoid talking about what happens after Blood of the Dead. It's impossible. We can just pretend like this is all just in their heads. It doesn't really matter. That It's just for fun, which is kind of like a big point later that I'm just going to get into now before I go into the other story options. Aim for the Treyarch, if you're listening, aim for fun first. Go back to the slightly older formula to before storyline was so important. Make it fun before you make it make sense, before you make it important. That Come up with how it can possibly be fun and then try to make it this amazing story that we all know and love because you can you can do it we believe in you you've done it before you managed to take almost a what was it seven years of nonsense that we had before and make it make sense so we know you can do it but go for making this the most fun map you've made yet and i think I think that will make a world of difference that I think that's probably, hopefully, I mean, it's kind of what I'm seeing here is what you did with nine, that it started off being just a fun map because this map's amazing. I love it. I praised it in the last video, but take the same mentality into Nuketown. Now, I think the, the better storyline would be a post Blood of the Dead that this is Victus doing something, whether they escaped and I, was it Stoolinger? I think he's in the bunker and the original Black Ops 2. Maybe he goes back and he's explaining why he was in the bunker, how he got out, how he got to I think it's Transit is the map where he gets out of the bunker and walks this ridiculous distance in like no time at all. Like, explain that. Have some fun there. You could tell all sorts of fun stories but there's just there's a lot of stories you could tell with it that is a ton of fun also this is just kind of a request can we uh can we get rid of the mark one ray gun and replace it with mark two like no offense i i love the history it's it's been there it's been on every map maybe make it an easter egg to where it's like hidden and you can get it somehow like but it's more of a like oh hey you got it yay Instead of just being a terrible weapon, or may maybe make the ray gun better, but even then, like, have it in the map as a, like, a joke. 
instead of give us the Mark II, please. It's, it's so much better. Um, in all honesty, I'm not gonna lie. I don't think this is a map we get for free. Um, I'd be willing to pay five bucks for it. I think that's what Nuketown costs on the Black Ops 2 version. I'd pay it again. I'm not gonna lie. I'd love to pretend like I would want more bang for my buck, but I'd, I'd pay five bucks. I think Nuketown Zombies would be a ton of fun. I think it'd be worth five bucks. But that's just me. Also, can we please just have one map in Black Ops 4 that doesn't have dogs or tigers? Like, honestly, I don't mind tigers at this point. Like, they're annoying. Their uh, animation is terrible. But I'd a lot rather get these gladiators in the next Nuketown map. Not gonna lie. They are so much easier to kill than anything else in the entire game. I love it. They're amazing. But I'd prefer nothing. Just solid, straight zombies. Because that's the whole point of the game mode. But also, kind of just getting to the end of this, and this will probably be the longest point, is kind of hoping that there is a degree of learning from what happened with Classified. Now, I don't mind that ending. I think it wasn't, it wasn't the best ending. It wasn't terrible. But it wasn't very satisfying to most of the community, who, especially the older community, who came in back before Black Ops 2. Which, I understand, because I don't think that this ending really did any justice to the Ultimus crew. It especially doesn't make any sense whatsoever when you're looking at everything that happens in Classified before that cutscene. But, okay, I'll give you that. Maybe there's other stuff, because I know that there's been a big issue in Black Ops 4 of sound bites not playing, of voice lines not playing at the right time. Like, seeing the one the other day of the boss fight in Blood of the Dead, that when post-war uh, Rick Toffin comes out, that he's excited to see the other character. Like, that makes a huge difference. Like, the fact that this is the only Rick Toffin you've ever thrilled to see Dempsey. Like, that says a lot. And it takes away a lot when that voice line doesn't play in the original the first time you see that cutscene it makes you feel like why would you trust this Rick Toffin when it's like this is the first Rick Toffin who's happy that you exist like I would trust him too and that's kind of one thing that I I don't want them to ruin that for people especially like me I came in to playing zombies during Black Ops 2 did I love the Victus crew not at all Let's be honest, I'll probably biasly like the, I don't even know her name, the female character just like I like Scarlet. Probably for similar reasons, but that's probably the character I'll like. But it's still one of those things where I don't want characters who don't mean anything. Because it's a waste of time to even have those characters. That it's kind of like for me and the new Star Wars sequels. There's absolutely no reason for Rose and Finn to exist. Their characters are terribly written. They further the plot in no way. They're literally just cannon fodder. And it's like, I don't want any characters like that in Zombies. Like, if you're going to give us characters like that in Zombies, don't, don't have them in the game. Like, there's no reason for it. I would so much rather have characters with a ton of depth who have an impact who have good voice lines, that's that's a key that I think hopefully the writing for them this time around would be better. It's kind of the hope. We're gonna pretend like I don't suck and like I was paying attention, but granted, like I said, I make it to 46 on this game, so it's not terrible. But, and especially, like I said, I came in Black Ops 2. Origins was like the first map where I truly like fell in love with the characters above the map so i'm a premise guy they're my people i love them that said though i still i don't want them to come in and dominate whatever 
cutscene we could get from this. Because it's just, it's kind of pointless. Why you have these characters built up over the whole map and then kind of bring in someone else right at the end? Like, whoop, here's who's really important. And that just doesn't make any sense to me. Also, as an aside, kind of just at the end of the video, I wouldn't mind if it was an Ultimus map either. I would prefer it not be. I think that Ultimus deserves to get their own new map later on at some point and not just be relegated to remasters. I think at this point, it'd be kind of nice to get something that makes us love the map, which would be Nuketown. I think everyone will love Nuketown. But I think that if we're ever going to give Victus more of a chance in the comic books, that we need to give them a map that everyone loves, that most people who love Nuketown are going to love it no matter what. And I think that it's just a balancing there, that we need to give them a good map so that people ha are forced to enjoy the characters, I think is the best way to say that. But that's kind of my wish list for the map. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know if there's any other topics you would like me to cover in the future. These two videos should be going up back to back. I'm amazed too. I, I don't know how it's happening, but somehow this week is just working out time wise but comment down below tell me what you want to see like the video if you enjoyed and subscribe for more that way you know when i post anything and you can join the crew if you aren't doing it go do your homework